Hey guys, um, I have some mystery magic mail to share with you from my friend Jenny. Uh, but first I want to show you again this Hello Kitty mug that I bought at a garage sale um, recently. And I, I have my coffee in there. This is, how, this is how I like my coffee. I like it a little bit lighter. And let me show you the back of it again for, for those of you who didn't see my um, uh, video where I showed you know my, my Hello Kitty mug the first time. And then the picture is different on the front than it is on the back. And I have the International Delight uh, White Chocolate Raspberry Coffee Creamer in my coffee. And this is the big bottle. I found it at Walmart. Thanks to uh, Tony, my friend Tony, creative, creative Chica Hauls and Crafts, guys. Check her channel out. She's a Dollar Tree hauler, and she does tons of crafts. And she also shops at Five Below, and she does grocery hauls, and she has a cute little chihuahua uh, puppy. So, yeah, I, thanks, Tony, for posting this. I think it was on Instagram, and I looked for it like I told you I would next time I went shopping. And I didn't find it at, the, at my grocery store, but I found it at Walmart. And you'd think that I'd be able to find it at the grocery store before I found it at Walmart because they have a big, bigger selection there. But my grocery store didn't have it. But I did find it at Walmart. But the only problem is it's the huge big bottle. And I'm the only one that drinks coffee creamer in the house. And I've been drinking out of this bottle for like ages. And I'm, I'm, there's still like about 40% left. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to buy it since the bottle is so big. I can't find it in the, in the smaller bottle. Um, I'm trying to see if it says it's 32 fluid ounces. It says serving size 63 per container. Yeah. Um, even though it's taking, even though it's taking me a long time to finish this big bottle, there's no way for me it's 63 servings out of this bottle. I like to. It says the serving size is one tablespoon. Yeah, I think I put probably more than one tablespoon in there. So this is what the bottle looks like. It has white chocolate and raspberry on there, and then um, it's by International Delight. And it's it's pretty good, Tony. If you like raspberries, you'll like this. It has a strong raspberry flavor. The raspberry. Uh, is more overpowering than the white chocolate by far. Um, I like raspberries, but I don't love raspberries. So, um, but yeah, I like it, but I don't love it. But like I said, if you really love raspberries, you'll like it even more, even more than me. And also, it has a strong raspberry scent to it. It's, it also smells uh, a lot like raspberries as well. It has a strong scent of raspberries. I wish the white chocolate was a little bit more prominent, but it's white chocolate, so it's not going to have a, a bigger, a more prominent flavor like the, than it was like milk chocolate or dark chocolate. So guys, let me start now and show you my uh, mystery magic mail from Jenny. Um, she gave me this thank you card. This card I got in the mail yesterday, and it's so cute. She knows that I like cats and dogs and animals in general. and it, look at this this cute dog with this cat hanging on to this dog it looks like they're, like they're in a field like somewhere flowers and I don't, I don't know if this is a cherry blossom tree but it looks like it and I love cherry blossom trees I used to have um, I think it was a cherry blossom tree in my in the first house that I lived in when I was growing up in the 80s I had a huge tree in the front yard and and I love I loved it I'm not sure if this is a Maine Coon cat or not, but it has big ears like a Maine Coon would have. It might be a different kind, like a Norwegian forest cat or something. And I'm not sure what type this this dog is. I don't know if it's supposed to be a pug or an English bulldog. Maybe, an, I'm not sure, but it's super cute. And then um, inside she left me a, a little note. And she put, hold on a minute. Oh, God, I'm trying to do film this with one hand. It says, thanks for being an awesome friend. Wanted to send you some mystery magic mail. And then um, these stickers were on the envelope, but I peeled them off because I save all my stickers if I can off the envelope. And I couldn't show you them on the envelope because, uh, so I wouldn't show our addresses. But you can see them here, this really cute little purple. He's like, I'm not sure what's supposed to be, a unicat? A mermaid unicat. Come, um, a purple mermaid unicat. I've never seen that before. And then this other Squishmallow here, a Squishmallow sticker. And this really pretty, like, prismatic, like, prism, prism metallic, like, fuchsia heart-shaped sticker. 
and this cute little like mushroom and I like the ink that that you use Jenny too I like that sh I like blue because purple pink and blue well this shade of blue right there like a Tiffany blue or like a light blue like this is, is one of my favorite colors and of course like I said before I'm gonna save this card I save everything and then this other card she sent me I didn't get now I forgot when I got it maybe two weeks ago or something and this really pretty big uh, butterfly card and it's it has glitter on it and it's super pretty with the glitter and I like things with glitter and then she put hi friend enjoy Jenny and another cute like strawberry like type of squishmallow stickers it's supposed to be a strawberry and then look at this pretty fancy envelope this matching envelope it came in guys look at that look at all the butterflies on there they're all different and I'm gonna save this envelope I'm gonna cut out these butterflies and I'm gonna use them in my junk journal and then it has this really pretty it was closed with this pretty um, gold foil unicorn sticker I'm gonna see if I can peel that off and save it but you can't really make out the unicorn on camera here but yeah it's a it's a gold unicorn I'm trying to see if I can get better lighting somewhere where it can sh shows up where it shows up no but yeah I'll s I want to save that and then guys she didn't just send me a card she sent me stickers and the butterfly card she included these Halloween stickers and I saw these when she posted them on Instagram and I asked her if these are 90s and she said yeah they're from the 90s and I could tell because I like vintage stuff I like 80s stuff the best but I also like stuff from the 90s and she said she had offered to send me you know a couple of sheets of these um, Halloween stickers so that was really nice that was really nice of you Jenny to offer to send me these stickers and then there's a little vampire boy and there's a ghost and then look at the cute little dog he's wearing like a superhero costume with a mask and then uh, this rest in peace tombstone with a ghost and then there's this like va uh, the vampire um, vest yeah, I guess you can peel it off and then you can put it on the on the boy you can stick it on the boy and then there's like a graveyard scene over here and I guess you can make a, a scene yourself with the stickers I guess you peel these stickers off and then you stick them on this graveyard scene wherever you want I, th I think this part is my favorite this is cool you take off the vamp vampire vest and then you can just put it on stick it on him and then she sent me another sheet of stickers like this but this one's different with this pirate girl uh, and then there's a witch's hat this cute little black cat wearing an eye patch and an owl and this witch's hat with this frog right there and this spider and then there's a bobbing for apples um, scene over here and there's an apple right there that I guess that you can put yourself in, in this um, uh, whatever that that's called I can't think of it now and then there's like a crescent moon with a bat so this is interesting these these sticker sheets so just in time for Halloween Jenny um, so I'm gonna try to try not to do these until closer to Halloween but I don't know if I can wait that that long but I'm gonna wait at least until like the beginning of October to, to put this uh, sticker scene together and then these are the stickers she sent me in this card right here that she sent me yes just yesterday she sent me a, a whole bunch of stickers like a big pile over here and she sent me these Disney stickers with Mickey Goofy Donald and the, and the gang just four right there I remember in the early 90s I used to watch a goof troop in the in the early 90s in the early 90s well the 80s had the best cartoons and then the early 90s also had some some great cartoons too not like the cartoons of today that suck and then she sent me this um, pink like leopard print sticker heart shaped sticker and she knows I like hearts and pink that's really pretty I like that and then I love Animal Crossing I was playing Animal Crossing for a while unfortunately I don't own the game I used to just check it out from the library and eventually I had to return it because I reached my hold limit and my brother sold the video game system for it and now I can't play it at all, at all anymore but uh, yeah I love Animal Crossing and she got me she gave me two Animal Crossing stickers she gave me this one here too
And then another heart-shaped sticker. This one uh, is of a heart balloon. Really cute. And then this nail polish sticker, this pink nail polish sticker with a heart on it. And then this pink ice cream cone. Wow, I love all these stickers because pink is my second favorite color. So I love everything so far. Look at this pink ice cream cone, guys. And then I think this sticker so far that I've been showing you is my favorite. It's not picking up on camera that well, but it's neon. It's like a neon uh, lipstick. Neon pink and like neon yellowish green. That's super cool. I love anything neon. It reminds me of the 1980s. I love neon and anything. And then another uh, Disney sticker. This one is with Winnie the Pooh. And I like Betty Boop too. And these Betty Boop, like, uh, they're supposed to be cherries, but the cherries are like uh, Betty Boop heads. That's, that's really cool. That's neat. I like that. And then I think this is Bratz. My scene or Bratz, but I think it's Bratz. Oh, that's cool. I don't have any doll stickers, so, so th this is something different. Yeah, I, I like, I like um, dolls. Cute. And then, oh my gosh, guys. This one I must have missed when I went through the stickers yesterday because I guess I'm, I didn't look through them that well. But here's another Animal Crossing sticker. I think it's from Animal Crossing. That's what it, that's what it looks like to me. Oh my god, an another one. And then this cute penguin sticker. He's wearing like a birthday hat and he's holding like a banner in his hand with confetti. And this Karopi sticker. I love Sanrio. I barely have any Sanrio stickers. <clears throat> Maybe. I actually, I don't even know if I have any, but if I... Oh, I do, because I think, Jenny, you sent me a pack of Sanrio stickers. I remember now. I, I think I have, like, a pack from you, but not that many at all, and certainly don't, I don't have any of these big individual ones. And this one is super cool. Look at that. Look at those teeth with that tongue on there. The tongue has like a black and green flame on the tip of uh, on the tip of its tongue, and it has va and there's vampire teeth, and then again it's like neon green around the edge edges of the mouth. That's really cool. And then this one, I think this is like a Star Wars sticker, maybe from the Mandalorian. I haven't seen the Mandalorian yet. Uh, my library doesn't have it, and I I don't um get any I don't subscribe I don't su subscribe to any streaming service like Netflix or anything so I don't know when I'm going to be able to watch um, The Mandalorian I think it's from The Mandalorian or some type of Star Wars and then this one is with Taylor Swift that's really cool I like the colors like it's like pixelated kind of like pixelated with all different colors that's a that's a cool effect right there so thank you, Jenny. Um, sorry it took me so long to sh to make a video about this butterfly card, but I did post it on Instagram pretty fast after I got it. So thanks, Jenny, for always, for sending me this mystery magic mail. And indeed, it was mystery. I didn't know it was coming. And then when I opened the card and I saw and and then I felt something through the card, I knew that you sent me stickers again. So yeah, I, l I love the stickers. You keep sending me somehow. You keep managed to send me better and better stickers. This is all stuff that I like, some of my favorite things. You always manage to send me better and better stickers all, all the time. And the, there's the Halloween stickers. Thanks for that, too. So, guys, yeah, um, she's also on Instagram. I forgot. I should have wrote it down, but she's Disney Love something with a bunch of number, numbers after it on Instagram. So, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Bye.